Okay then, right, I'm going to start um, by cleaning up all of the junk in here. Uh, there's a nice tidy nodes button. Unfortunately, there's so much junk, I'm just going to trash the entire thing and do that. So, what I'm going to now show you, uh, let's get a nice GGX specular. So, GGX BRDF, let's make sure not to get the wrong one. Plug that into the material. Now, there is actually another additional bit of information that we need to mix up materials over other materials and that's the new Fresnel tools. So I'll just go to here in Fresnel functions you have a number so I'll add them all quickly and break down what they all do. Now that one should be familiar to you. I can plug that into the Fresnel as you can see like for like it's that light grey colour and we have a Fresnel fall off as you can see if I was to go to the specular direct buffer you will see there is that nice bright limb and then falls off and of course because we have a sun there's a very nice glowing fall off which is very very apparent and in specular indirect you, know, you can see the same thing for the indirect rays now what we have here in the there's a bunch of new buffers some of which you may never ever use but this particular one the row buffer is useful to show you it actually shows you the strength of the Fresnel the sphere is the easiest thing to see it on but it works on all of the others as it's approaching the limb it gets brighter and the centering center facing is is darker that's approximately 4% if that's a 1.5 uh, but it's brightened because of the sRGB profile we've got now just to show you how this changes if I increase the roughness the limb drops away so this works correctly in an energy conserving way which it wouldn't do if this was just using the standard maths Fresnel function so these are designed to work in, in an energy conserving way and to work with the roughness and the microfacet model. So all of them do this, which is very handy. So I can change that back to roughness of 10 and you'll get a much brighter limb. Um, just changing back to the final render because it's, it's, it's much clearer for a lot of things. So you have a conductor. Well, what's a conductor? A conductor is purely a metal. So I put that in, I select a colour, let's make copper. So copper is about, that's about nice. And voila, we have a pure metallic copper. So again, the standard Fresnel conductor, what it does is if I go to, again to the specular row, you can see in the centre you have the standard colour and as it goes towards the limb, it gets brighter as I increase the roughness the limb gets darker approaches the, the central color and that's exactly what metals do this is how a Fresnel function should work and that's a rather beautiful rough looking copper colored finish oh, that's rather nice uh, other functions we have is the Schlick this is a mechanical, um, it's very simply, we, we've had this before, um, Michael Wolf added one in his DBW tools. Again, didn't it, 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 you, you put a parallel value and a perpendicular value, so I can completely control, I could make this to be, appear to be a bright copper, or when we use it, make it a gold and it would look like a gold or I can make it very very dark just type in say 10 and that again will make it look like a standard dielectric for now again if I lighten the, the roughness the limb brightness will return 
Um, this is used for mixing between them. Um, and this is especially useful for using with this one. So I will just show you this. So I'll plug that in and immediately you're thinking, well, that's not very iridescent as described. Well, what we'll do is increase <laughs> the iridescence, which is is off by default. This is, of course, a entirely artistically driven thing, but you might you have values that you have from another source. As you can see, that, that's actually rather attractive. As I change the thickness slider, we will get different and rather beautiful Fresnel functions. And again, this works the same with the BRDF. So as I increase the roughness, these little bands will become more blended. But that's a rather beautiful looking sort of pearlescent type effect. Now, on its own, that is a pure incident iridescent shader. It's probably a little bit too strong to use when mixed with another material. So what we do is I'll take, say, a dielectric, which is at 1.5, multiply that to the... And that makes it a more well, realistic brightness when combining it with other materials. Um, we can obviously multiply all of these together, but that gives you the rough idea. It's a very special tool just designed to mix Fresnels. Okay.